Hi Libras, Trishna here. Welcome to your October 2019 general reading. So what I'm feeling for you is I feel like there is a certain area of your life that you have, you have been focused the most in and whatever area of life that you've been the most focused around or focused about, that area of your life is going really, really well for you. So if it's career, your career is going really well for you. If it's romance, your romance life is going really well for you. And you know, maybe that area of your life isn't going isn't exactly where you want it to be, or maybe it's not going in the direction as fast as you would like it to go, but it is in a really good place and it is moving forward in the direction that you want it to go. Just maybe not as quickly as you would like it, but it's in a good place and I feel like you're pretty happy about it whenever you think about that area of your life. Maybe you feel like, I wish I was a little further along, but I think for the most part, you actually feel pretty happy about how things are and grateful with where things are at this point in time. So I think that that is really, really nice and really good. It's happy. And I think that you're getting to this point where you're starting to open yourself up to another area of your life. <clears throat> this one area is going really well, really well, and I feel like you're starting to become ready to allow in another area of your life, to put more focus in another area of your life. So if currently you've been really focused on your career and that's been going really well, you may now start feeling ready to open up to bringing more romance into your life. <clears throat> and so you may be considering dating this month. And so I have a few things that I want to say around that topic. So whatever this new area of your life is, we're going to use romance as an example, but it could be something different for you depending on you and your life situation. This is a general reading. But let's say you're really focused on career right now and that's going really well and now you're really starting to get excited about the idea of meeting somebody new and somebody special. And so you're thinking about dating, you're thinking about bringing more romance into your life. So if, so we're gonna use romance as an example. So if that's the case, there's a few things that I wanna say. So I feel like you are ready or getting ready, you're close to ready to being open to this new area of your life, but there's still some work that you need to do before it can truly be seamless, easy, and in, as enjoyable as it can be. So I think that there, you may have some baggage that you still need to clear out that has come from past relationships or past situations related to this area of your life. So if, if, in a romance situation, let's say somebody comes into your life and they're interested in dating you or going on a date with you or pursuing you in some way. If that happens, I would say, if that happens and you like them back or you're interested in them in some way as well and you want to explore what could be between the two of you, I would say don't hesitate, go for it because you're a little more ready than the other Libras because it's coming to you right now. But if you are the one that's thinking about getting on a dating site or asking somebody out, I would hold off for just about a day or two. And I would spend that day or two working on some of your baggage. Because if you don't, what's gonna happen is you're gonna go on this date with this person and you're gonna feel excited about it, you're going to enjoy the company of this person, but I think probably on that first date, if not the first date, very soon into the beginning of this relationship, your baggage is going to come up to the surface and you're going to end up coming off as argumentative or defensive or aggressive in some way to this other person who is actually a really nice person, a really sweet person, a really more soft, <clears throat> gentle energy, and you're going to somehow come off as aggressive or argumentative or defensive and it's this the recipient of this is not going to necessarily make a judgment on you based off of that they're not going to be like oh i'm not going to date this person i'm done i've i know all i need to know, know about this person i don't feel like they're going to make that decision i feel like they're going to be pretty understanding but they are going to take note of this they are going to remember this and this is going to be something that plays at the back of their mind so it's not going to affect the actual potential of your relationship and whether or not you could you can be with this person and whether or not this date is successful ultimately because they're not going to make a choice based off of how you act but if you really want to make this relationship the best that it can be i really suggest that you work on your baggage you work on whatever this aggression 
relates to. So how do you work on your baggage? So, in, so hold off for two days before you reach out to somebody, if you're going to be asking them out. If somebody's going to be asking you out, like I was saying, don't hesitate, say yes, but if you have some time, I would still recommend that you work on your baggage as well. So what you do is, to work on your baggage is you <clears throat> imagine your date with this person and imagine how it would go and pay attention to any kind of resistance, any kind of anger that bubbles up as you're imagining this scenario. And if nothing bubbles up, think about if something were to bubble up, what would it be about? What would make you angry? What would trigger you in this dating situation? Once you know what that is, try to figure out where did this come from? What caused me to feel this way? What gave me this baggage? Who was it? What scenario was it? Once you know what that is, understand why it has triggered you and, and what about this person or what about the situation created this anger in you or sadness in you or hurt or whatever this is for you. Once you understand where it comes from and why it may have created this kind of void in you in some way or this emotional distress, then think about it and make peace with it and understand that it is something that only comes from your past and that you are now ready to let it go and fade into the past so you can allow in more new and more love from your future. So you're letting go of the past, you're letting whatever this hurt is fade into the past so that you're making room for your future. So that's really all that I think you need to do to really get you on the right path with releasing this baggage. I think this will get you 80% of the way there. So that's what I really recommend for you is regardless of your dating situation, if somebody is coming into your life or if you're going to ask somebody else out or if you're going to get on a dating site, work on some of this baggage. Now, I think October is going to go pretty well for you overall as a month. The There's one area of your life that's going really well, let's say it's career, and then you are starting to open yourself up to a new area of life, maybe it's romance. But I really feel like for the most part, the month's going to go really well because of this one main focus area that's already going really well for you and I feel like that's basically going to carry you through the month and that's still really going to be your main focus. I said a lot of ifs earlier in this video. I said if you decide to get on a dating site, if you decide to date somebody and I think it's because you're not entirely sure that you're ready to make that move just yet. I know that you're getting you're opening your mind to the possibility of this new area or romance, you are getting excited about it, you're starting to look forward to it, but I don't know if you necessarily are ready to actually make those steps forward. So if you are ready to make those steps forward and if you do end up meeting somebody and dating them, I think that, I think it will go well, but I feel like you may not give it as much of a chance as maybe you should. I feel like as you start dating somebody, even though you walk in being excited and feeling like you're ready, I feel like the relationship may start to feel a bit like a chore for you. It won't feel really that fun. It'll end up becoming something that you just feel like you have to do or that you should be doing. And I feel like there'll be a little bit of lack of emotion, some kind of emotional unavailability that you will be dealing with. And this is another block that you need to work on because mentally you know that you want to have a relationship but on an emotional level somehow it doesn't seem fun for you. So another thing that I think that you should do throughout this month is I think that you should spend some time asking yourself why isn't romance fun for you anymore? What took away the pleasure of love for you? And I think really just asking that question will already do so much for you if you ask yourself that question. I don't even know that you really need to have an answer. I think you just need to ask and be open to receiving an answer, but don't need an answer. And I really don't think you actually, I don't think you need an answer. I think that just posing that question and being open to the idea of getting an answer to that will be more than enough because, you know, when the brain receives a question, it likes to find the answer on its own. Your subconscious will work and work and work. And I think that when you pose, your, pose that question to yourself, your subconscious will naturally be like, but romance is fun. Love is fun. And it may give you an answer at some point. And then once you know the answer, you'll feel a lot better. Or you may just suddenly start feeling like romance is fun. Like, I don't know why romance isn't fun anymore. That doesn't make any sense. It should be fun. And all of a sudden, it will be fun for you again. So that's the other thing that I recommend that you work on. 
Now, the last thing that I'm picking up on is I think it was you, Libra, that in September I mentioned that there may be somebody who enters your life who you normally would not really give a chance to because they may have a kind of vibe or a kind of, I don't know, maybe external way that they present themselves, external way of expressing themselves, whether it's physical clothing or whether it's how they talk, that really isn't your type or just seems like bad news to you, like maybe it's like a bad boy or bad girl type of vibe and you're not really into that. I feel like this person, this person is still showing up in this reading and so I feel like you either didn't really give them a chance or they're there and you didn't really notice that they were there so how could you give them a chance if you didn't notice and I feel like if this person pops up or if you've currently been with this person already if you did end up taking that guidance and giving them a chance I feel like you should continue to give them a chance and the other thing I want to say around this is as you get to know them they may seem even more like something that you don't really resonate with, but I feel like this person is actually a mirror of you. They are a reflection of who you are, and you are more alike than you realize. And you two are more alike than anybody would ever think you were just looking at the two of you at first glance. So we talked earlier about how there's some aggression that you have, some anger, some defensiveness that you have that you're having to work through. Now, that for you may be on an internal level. And then there's this other person who maybe appears like a bad boy on the outside or a bad girl on the outside who dresses that way, who, you know, just expresses themselves in that way on an external front. So they may look like the typical bad boy, bad girl. They may look like somebody who would have anger issues, but inside they may actually be very gentle and very sweet. Whereas you're kind of maybe being the opposite, where inside you have that aggression on the, on the outside, you're trying not to express it to other people. So they are a reflection of you. They are a mirror of you. They are reflecting yourself back to you, even if it doesn't seem like that on the surface. But in reality, that is what this person is doing. And in relationships like that, I feel like they can actually be relationships that last in the long term. They are relationships that I think can last at least several years, but they do tend to require a lot of work because we both parties are mirrors of each other. And when you see yourself reflected black, back to you, if you are not ready, if you're not mature, if you're not able to handle seeing your own reflection, seeing the truth of yourself, it can cause a lot of issues and it can make the relationship extremely difficult. If you are mature, the relationship will still be difficult, but you'll have an understanding that, you know what, this is just a reflection of me and this is just showing me areas where I need to grow and areas that if I work on, I will be so much happier, I'll be so much more fulfilled, I will be closer and closer to my essence and my God version and my true self. And so the maturity is what brings the mindset to this relationship. So it's going to be difficult either way, but do you fight against it or do you understand it and deal with the difficulties and find ways to grow from it? So that's something else for you to think about is they are a reflection of you and this is a wonderful opportunity for you to have two things. Have a wonderful relationship with somebody and also grow as a person, as a spirit. And, you know, I feel like you in this situation have more growing to do than this other person because... You know, if we take the example of anger and defensiveness, that's truly how you feel and that's like baggage that you need to work on. Whereas your partner in the situation or the other person in the situation is only just showing that on the outside. Maybe in the clothing that they wear or whatever choices that they make, how they do their hair. So that is very external and so of course, however we present ourselves in the external does portray in some ways how we feel on the internal, but for the most part, this person doesn't really have the level of aggression that you may be dealing with right now. So I feel like you have more growth work to do in this situation. They, of course, do too, because they're not just reflecting you, you like you are a reflection for them as well. But I think that in this case, the opportunity for growth falls a little bit more on your side. But anyways, I think that 
you could really learn a lot from the situation. I think that it could be a very life-changing kind of relationship, one that changes your perspective on the world, opens your eyes, and you know those relationships where you just grew so much from being with that one person that it completely changed the course of your life in many ways. So I feel like this person is that for you. So I hope this is helpful. I am doing extended readings for these videos. They, they are available on my Patreon page. The link will be at the end of this video. It is www.patreon.com slash Trishna, and I'm going to go into more depth on the situation. I'm going to go into what other future potentials are coming up for you, any obstacles on the way, and any additional guidance that you need in order to make this journey as pleasant and joyful and easy as possible. So if you're interested in that, I will see you in that video. If not, thank you so much for watching. I hope I earned your like and your subscribe, and I will see you in my next video on YouTube.